Now it's time for us to go do the next reveal. Who is going to be our GM? Is it me? Is it you? Well, it's gonna be somebody. You know what? Actually, it's not anybody who's actually played by a player. Uh-oh, it's NPC, NPC lives. Come on in, I wanna to talk to you about the game that you have chosen for today. Ah, yeah. Oh, by the way, everybody, we are getting really close to the next emote as well. I'm showing 21 sub points until we get there. Uh, yeah, that's pretty awesome. Wannabe Cat, thank you. Yes, 20 sub points to get there. Never mind. NPC, hello. <laughs> 20 sub points. We can keep going. Yeah, you don't. You're not contractually obliged. Uh, but if you want to, you're welcome to help push us there to the next emote. NPC, what's up? Um, it's the opposite of down. Thank you. What game do you have? <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. I, had to, I had to do one bad joke. One bad joke. I'm sure that'll be the only bad joke I do. Randy, thank you for the sub as well with Twitch Prime. Uh, I just want to distract from that terrible joke. NPC. Yay. Okay. Well, what game do we have? Because I know this game. Well, let's be honest here. I had a bunch of people in this group that has played some amazing stuff. And how do you just pick any game? They're just going to veto it. Okay. They're just going to veto it. So I had to give them something that, you know, naturally is going to be the most evil game they've ever played in Cusa Grande. And that is Dooley Bravo Land. Yeah, this isn't necessarily the best game in the world. Don't you speed run this? <laughs> I need to work on this speed run because, man, is it a game? This game is not playable. OK, I know this from possibly first-hand experience. I can't remember if I've played it. Like, if I have, I've blocked it out of my memory because it's not good. Well, that's kind of why we're giving them, you know, an order of levels, uh, because we know this isn't going to be easy for them. Uh, no, no. Like, honestly, if you thought that Lupin was bad, like, this is a platformer, but I'd, I'd rather play Lupin. I want to play Lupin. Uh, I'd rather play this than Lupin, personally. What? But... You heretic. Well, I speedrun the game. How? Well, <laughs> look, that was your choice, not mine. I mean, even Tristan, who gave this to me, was shocked that I wanted to speedrun this game. Yeah, that's because you're broken. You are a broken soul. And it yeah. was Dooley Bravo Land that broke you. Yeah, and it's funny because none of the, I think somebody has seen it, but nobody has played it. And seeing it really doesn't help much in this game. Because uh, no, this, no. Because especially, because after my crash and burn when I started doing this in BBG um, number three, I just plowed through the game like it was nothing. I have pretty much routed quite a bit of this game. Oh, and yeah. She, who is who's the actual world record holder? There's I, I can't remember their name, but yeah, there is somebody that um, has worked really hard. Um, um, Ray Quaza 911. They have gotten it down to like 16 minutes, 13 seconds. That name and, sounds really familiar. And they is just very impressive but there's still a few more optimizations that could be done because there's like there's kind of some pixel perfect jumps if you're doing it fast if you're doing it fast okay do you recommend doing it any way other than fast though uh in a Cusa grande match i hope they're not doing it fast they better be doing this slow oh geez this is certainly going to be an experience uh Question, I think that I missed this. Who is doing audio for us? That would be Author Blues. Ah, Mr. Author Blues gets to experience Dooley. Oh, no. Oh, trust me. I, 
everybody had their strength and everybody had a veto in this and it made me sad it's like i was trying to be nice but everybody just had their own special veto because everybody has their everybody here in this group plays something unique yeah, so. obviously, I I know that everybody here has plenty of experience with bad games. Uh, Author Blues, you know, he he's a Pears and Grey Witch fan. Sharfers plays Barbie. Doe Wolf plays... What does Doe Wolf uh, play? Hoshi wo Mirohito, or Stargazers. Oh, yeah, plays Stargazers. Duh, I let him borrow my, uh, my, my console to run that at... A couple marathons, and then Nico Jazz. What does Nico Jazz play? I don't know, but they vetoed one of my games, and I was like, "How dare you!" Wow, Nico Jazz, how dare you? Well, it's let's like, go I want, ahead. I want, I want to, yeah, I'm sorry. No, it's all good. I muted. Oh my gosh, never mind. Stupid YouTube is being stupid YouTube. Who would have guessed? Oh yeah. Uh, Hoshi Omiro Hito is coming out on the Switch, and I don't know why. Yes! I'm so excited! I have, I, have, I have invested time in that game because it entranced me so. Yeah, question, are they actually doing an English translation? I doubt it. It's, it's, <laughs> like, I, it's like, I think, no joke, it's going to be like 10 bucks. And it's like, I don't even think they're doing anything other than uploading it. And I'm just going to say this. Please don't play it. I tried to legitimately play it. And there is one part that is impossible to do. I don't care. I'm going to play it. You can't tell me what to do, Dad. Oh, uh, trust me. <laughs> you couldn't tell me what to do. And then I actually dug into it. Okay, I'm just waiting for one person, Nico Jazz, to confirm that they're ready. And then we will get rolling. Awesome! Okay, I am gonna do the countdown. Everybody pull out all of your dinosaur emotes and Mario emotes, surprisingly. Hopefully we get some Mario, but I put them later in the list because that level is complete butts. It kind of is, yeah. Uh, spam! Spam your emotes, everybody! Yeah, butts! Because this game is a butt. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I love this game. It's not yeah, good. I, I have given them an order because it is... I want to give them the most playable level that they possibly can. So, we'll see... So this is basically the jungle, and um, yeah, they're going to have to deal with natives, and we already have a death, so way to go, Dole Wolf. Wow. <laughs> you can't... Oh my gosh. This is certainly very much a video game that was created over in Korea. This is our second Korean game today. Yay! We have a theme. Yeah. Not a good theme, but a theme nonetheless. <laughs> yeah, so one thing you can see is that they have a limited amount of health, so they need to try and not do this level fast. And we already have two game overs. Oh, jeez. What? Are you serious? <laughs> oh, no. How many continues do you have in this game? You have unlimited continues. Oh, good. But, um... Yeah, this is no, this is no joke. This is the easiest level, and um, they're just gonna have to suck it up. Yeah, yeah. I feel like I'm trying to remember who chose this game for you to play. I believe you and Mike battled with yeah, this, this game, right? This was a Tristan game. Tristan. Yeah, Tristan basically said it was basically um, a. The person who beat the most amount of bosses wins, and it's like I think I won by just a like a few seconds because I beat a fourth boss. Oh yeah, it was very close, very very close. But yeah, as you can see, there it's this looks like it's type platforming, but it's 
slightly fairer than the rest of the game, I hate to say. Plus, some of the lag actually makes it a bit easier. <laughs> I, by the way, I love that Mike Uyama uh, still will occasionally argue that he should have won the match. Like, honestly, I, I love that there are still debates about that. Who actually won? It was you, but... You haven't mentioned that in, like, a year. Mike! Whatever, it's still in my memory. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's how brains work. They remember things. Yeah, it's like I was. I still remember how to speed run this. Sadly. Okay, so why talk, does my brain work on? <laughs> talk to me a little bit about the mechanics, because you've got health, which you can sort of vaguely see in the top left. Uh, okay, if you if you look at the top left, you have two icons. See, faces are duly lot duly's lives, which you start out with three. The hearts are uh, duly's health, which you can get up to. You can get up to five health. Ooh. And, um, yeah, and that's pretty much it. You can, get, you can get up to five lives, five health, but generally if you're playing this casually, you're not getting up to five lives. Yeah. Um, one of the things that they'll definitely be sad about is that, um, there are no checkpoints in these levels. Oh my gosh, the lag. Oh yeah, why isn't Doe Wolf shooting at all? Uh, I don't know. Do they know you can shoot? I mean, simply put, you should press all the buttons, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm really curious to ask, really curious to ask it right now. But yeah, there is a shoot button and it's definitely useful. You can't shoot the coconuts, but you know. Okay, well, I'm just gonna... Oh, yeah, Doe Wolf is shooting now. Okay. Good, yeah. good, good. But those platforms are actually a bit bigger than they, they appear to be. Oh, really? Like the, the platforms well, I mean, on the water? Yeah, the platforms on the water. Just usually they look scary, but they have a little bit of meat. On them. I don't really like the fluffy puff marshmallows here, okay? <laughs> like, it, it's been a little while since I've seen a fluffy puff uh, cartoon from Homestar Runner, but geez, that marshmallow is terrifying. And these are too. Oh. Yeah, trying to get some of these jumps is terrible. But like I said, trying to do any of the later levels is just torture, so. I yeah. felt this was a good starter, despite the fact that there is no good starter for this game. There's so much lag in areas of this game. I love it. By the way, what console is this? This is Famicom. Ah, okay. Um, another thing, just go over the enemies of this game, uh, in this level. Uh, the owls will swoop from the top right to the bottom left and then kind of hover a little bit. Uh, okay. They take about um, three hits. Then you have the monkeys that you can usually go up and just walk away because they take an eternal amount of hits to destroy. Oh, Auth is coming up to the fun uh, coconut room. Oh no, the coconut room! How do you survive the coconut room? Do you just need to get to Marshy? You need to get to the marshmallow, but okay. those things will... <laughs> what? Oh, this is unfair. Oh, oh the monkey uh, got Nico Jazz as well. Well, yeah. Arthur Blues is just a tiny bit in the lead. That is rude. That is so rude. By tiny bit in the lead, they're actually tied, but he got there first. So... We we still have a little bit of a ways to go, yeah. but... Yeah, how is this the easiest level? This is ridiculous. This is the easiest level because the other levels have, um... other mechanics that just... Actually, now that I think about it, this is probably second easiest, but... The thing is that you can actually dodge quite a bit of stuff here. It's just that everybody's trying to go at a fast pace, and they should just take it slower. But say, t t telling them to take it slow during this kind of setting is 
really hard to do. By the way, all the players here have seven points. That means that they took second in their match. Only one player will be eliminated from this round, but it is still important to do as well as they can. That way they don't have to worry as much during the later matches. Oh, geez. Yeah, coming in third makes it very difficult to make it into the bracket. Coming in first makes it a lot more likely. So, honestly, it's really, well, every match is really important, but it's very important that they do well here. Oh, uh, no, no, Wolf. No, stay on the platform. No, Wolf. <laughs> oh, poor No, Wolf. They oh were doing gosh. so well. Doing so well. I love the audio lag. It makes me so happy that, you know, we don't just get visual lag, we get audio. Yeah, it's one of those interesting things is that you get, for some odd reason, there are a ton of lag in this game, despite the fact for no need. Why is, uh, why is Doe Wolf not attacking that bird? The bird has three hit points. It is killable. Yeah, I would definitely try to kill the bird because it causes a lot of problems. But if it has a set pattern and you know how to avoid it, I guess you can. Okay, Author Blues, watch out for the monkey. Watch out. Ah, oh, good, good monkey dodge. The monkeys are just clapping so much. Yeah, they're very excitable monkeys. But, um, Auth is coming up on the boss here. He won't be that fun. No! No, Auth! Oh, no! It's okay. Did I jinx it? Yeah. Sorry, Auth. Jinxes don't exist. Author Blues uh, just died because death happens. Yeah, so what I can see is that this was developed by a company called Dao Infosys. Uh, they were a developer over in Korea. They developed in-house for a long time, and then uh, they licensed games that were made by Color Dreams and Tengen, specifically licensing that for the Supercom. Interesting. Yeah, uh, so they were like, yeah, we'll go ahead and buy your games Color Dreams. That sounds good. <laughs> That's the worst thing. Oh, oh come on, yeah. come on, Doe. Just a bit more. Come on. This guy takes a ton of damage, so you just need to just stay back a little bit. And there we go. Ooh. Yeah, as. That was kind of a violent ending. I think I saw a rib cage. Really? Hey, yeah. I saw somebody being barbecued. Oh, that was a duck. That was a what? That was a duck. Oh, well, okay, that's... Sounds delicious first. So, now we're underwater, and if you liked lag before, then you're going to love this level. I feel like this level is kind of playable because of the lag. Well, there's a few things that are really hard to dodge in this, but, um... Well, yeah, lag gives you a little bit more reaction time. Hey, Author Blue's on to the boss as well. Now, this is act the one good thing about, um being on the boss area is that there is a checkpoint for bosses specifically. Okay, Author Blue's just trying to deal with this boss. Uh, by the way, yeah, people did point it out. We often have games that maybe aren't as culturally sensitive as the games from today. We still enjoy watch you you know it's good to be critical of games while still acknowledging that maybe it's a little bit problematic maybe a little bit oh now we got the nice chill underwater music oh i like this music i'm in my happy place you know what's also sad is that they're not going to get to the level that has the impossible jump you know what's sad uh 
is that Dooley the Little Dinosaur probably isn't being made anymore. Uh, Dooley was a cartoon over uh, in South Korea, created yeah. by Kim Soo Jung. Uh, and it was actually made around 1995. Dooley is an official citizen of South Korea. Interesting. Yeah, he's got a registration card and everything. I wonder if he has to deal with identity theft. I will say is I was actually trying to find if there is a copy of this out there and it is um, impossible to find. Okay, okay. Actually, no, I do see, I think it was a comic in 1995. Uh, the original series was 87. Oh, what happened? Why are you laughing, NPC? The chaff. Chat, um, Sharif says, okay, this is terrible. Yeah, yeah, so, that that's basically true, Sharif. I agree. It's Cuso Grande for a reason. Yeah, we didn't, we didn't get, didn't, you're here to play bad games. We're not going to give you a good game. So, interestingly, there was some controversy when it came to Dooley being a TV show. When Dooley was first created as a TV animation, it received a lot of criticism from South Korean Catholics. South Korean citizens and the government also criticized it. Reasons cited included the fact that the animation was a bit violent, which was suppressed by the South Korean government, and the adult general public was angered due to its character's attitude of disrespect towards elders. Mm. Oh, really? Those kids. Disrespecting. Well, get off my lawn, basically. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. However, this was when freedom of speech was not seriously taken into account. Generally speaking, the younger generation has fond memories of this series and find that the violence is actually a quite realistic portrayal of family dynamics in contemporary South Korea. Hmm. Whenever it says violence is accurate, an accurate representation of families. It's like, hmm, what kind of violence are you talking about? I'm a little <laughs> bit curious about this. <laughs> I don't want to know what kind of violence in families occurs over there. But sadly, um, Doe Wolf has died at the boss. So. Oh, yeah, he was doing really well. I, I think that, you know, one or two more tries, it'll probably be fine. Yeah, they basically, uh, Doe Wolf um, just needed to do a little bit better because I believe they were almost, yeah, they almost got the boss down to like no health. But yeah, they had a good um, way of handling uh, the boss. Yeah. But I just too, well, too little too late. I feel like families in South Korea probably don't throw ninja stars at each other. I'm going to go ahead and argue that chat uh so no that that part is inaccurate but maybe the death squids you know maybe those are accurate oh watch out for the ink hey nico jazz moving on as well like i i think everybody's gonna get through at level one relatively quickly sharpers just died <laughs> You needed to jump off the stupid thing. That's I could feel the do. anger with the pause there. You could just feel it radiating from the game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> okay, so... Maikuyama said that the controls for this game are bad. Why? What is bad? Oh... Uh they work, actually. I'm not going to wow. say they're bad. Wow. No, Mike's wrong. They actually work, which is probably one of the good things about the game. It's just one of the... Here's probably why he says it's bad. Um, you have iframes, but whenever you get hit, um, you basically, you know, are stuck. So that means if the you get hit while you're it's you're at the end of your stun, you get hit and stunned again. You just get comboed. So, 
you get comboed, and that can lead to death. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. If hitboxes like, and uh, iframes are a pain in the butt with this game, 100% makes sense that, you know, the control... <sighs> just dealing with that is a huge frustration. I have one time had five health and got comboed with, out, out of all of it. Also, what uh, is this boss? It's like some little baby squid. Um, I don't entirely know. It's cute. I just imagine it's, you know, some kind of creature that throws out cigarettes. Oh, so <laughs> I was going to say, so cigarettes. my mother, but my mother doesn't smoke. Ah! Oh, like I said, these are underwater cigarettes, so they have their own special way of lighting them. Nice. Well, good. Waterproof cigarettes, only the best. So yeah, at, when you get the pattern down, it's not a terribly hard boss, but it's still trying not to get hit. Yeah, I, easier I, said than done. I love this creature. It's like a box a day. That is for chumps. Just going through. Like this has to be hundreds and hundreds of packs of cigarettes. You're gonna get lung cancer, and you probably don't even have lungs. <laughs> Author Blues! That's a game over, but still, a good try for the boss there. Yeah. It's like, they're slowly starting to learn how to deal with the boss. And you can kind of brute force it a little bit, but it's still preferable to try and attack, get back down to the middle, and then let them shoot their three-way shot, dodge it, and then... <gasps> Sharpers, no. Sharpers. That's one odd thing. If you're at the very edge of a platform hitbox, uh, you can fall, and the game just doesn't care. Oh, yeah. It'll, just, it'll let you stay on the edge, but it won't let you jump. It'll just let you fall. As opposed to a game like No Rules Get Fat, where... Um, That's not a game. <laughs> says you. I hate it. I hate it so much, okay? The boss battles are the biggest joke ever. That will I can't fight for, so yeah, you can have that. You win that argument. They're so dumb. But yeah, I I works I have worked so hard on No Rules Get Fat for Essentia. I'm allowed to have a little bit of love for the game. Sure, whatever. You can love whatever you want. You can go love a rock for all I care. Yeah. But it's not oh, a rock. rock. It's a rock lobster. Rock lobster. Oh my gosh. That is a very special with... song. I'm trying to keep in mood with the uh, C theme we have going right here. And one of the interesting things that uh, Dole Wolf just did is that he collected the invulnerability, and it can actually carry over to the boss, but it doesn't last very long, so you can probably get, like, one uninterrupted, full-blown attack on him before you have to actually do go back to your dodging. Oh, yeah, I think that... Like, honestly, learning the pattern would help for the players. Like, just just taking it a little bit slower, watching for where the safe spots are. Uh, honestly, because the pattern is very consistent, it's just, uh, you know, it adjusts where it fires from each time. Look for safe spots. Look for where you can stand without getting hit. And if you can figure that out, then fantastic. You're going to be able to get through this. Um, no, Chris Cater. Um... The, they shoot the direction you're standing. They will go left if you are left. If you are right, they will shoot right. Such a stressful boss the Ooh, off the blues. No! Yeah. Don't. Oh, come on off. Yeah, secondhand smoke. Actually, I wouldn't even say it's secondhand smoke. Secondhand cigarettes, period. Are gonna kill you, okay? I think I think that right now, Author Blues is trying to brute force this boss, 
and you just can't do that. You have to, you know, you have to just sit there and just take a, take note of what's happening. Don't try and rush it and just concentrate really hard on knowing that they're going to shoot diagonally and at the bottom, it's probably safe in the middle. So you just want to, I don't even know why I'm trying to go over the speed tech of this game. It is just, it's really freaking, it's possible. I don't know why they're making this such a friggin' harder than it actually looks like. But, you know, I'm just blabbing about, you know, under the sea. We don't have, like, an aerial here to, you know, sing under the sea or Sebastian. We don't have any crabs. We just have a bunch of stupid pearls that come and attack you. We have a giant squid that shoots a bunch of ink. And, oh, I didn't even notice that, um... Nico Jazz ha is now finally at the boss, so we'll see if Nico Jazz ha has um, any further luck with this boss. Which is actually, they're actually kind of slightly doing the speed strat. And uh, while dying is not the speed strat, I repeat, dying is not the speed strat in this game. <laughs> oh shoot! I I was actually thinking that this level was easier than the first level, but seeing everybody dying on this boss kind of confirmed the fear that or could kind of confirmed the answer that this is slightly harder than the first level. Oh! Way to go, Dole Wolf! We are now on level 3, which is the roller coaster. Uh, this level sucks. As you will see, there's going to be a bunch of birds that are going to try to kill you. But luckily, they only take, like, one or two hits. I can't remember if it's two hits. And there's the combo of death. Oh, no, this level. Yeah. I, I don't remember too much about it, but... Oh. It's, it's the roller coaster level. Oh, no. So, no. Yeah. So, one of the things that you gotta just... This is where you just spam shoot and just hope for the best. Because killing enemy, they will shoot when they come on screen. But, um... Yeah, there we go. <laughs> They're gonna learn the hard way about trying to actually fight some of these birds. Yeah, if you get hit, you're just stunned. You're gonna fall off the roller coaster. Do not get hit. And they're doing the smart play and just... Doing a continue and just starting it over. But yeah, they just need to start shooting and just keep shooting. And jump still, just jump and not um, backtrack. Uh oh, apparently there was a stealth Barbie. I think I missed Barbie. So did I. Oh well. Barbie! So the one sad thing about the first bird on the roller coaster is that, um,. <laughs> oh my gosh, this yeah. game. This level yeah, is so ridiculous. This level is just a big pile of dumb. That's a good I, way to describe it. But, um, yeah, the first bird that the they fight on the roller coaster, um, you want to kill it as soon as you can, but in order to avoid that first bullet, it's like almost... A, if not a pixel perfect jump. Oh no! <laughs> now they're learning about the fun of roller coasters. I like roller coasters. I, I dislike I the amount of death on roller coasters, but wait, you don't like roller coasters? I am scared to death of roller coasters. Why? Because they scared living daylights out of me. Oh, you should go on one with me. I'd love it. I'd love to hear you scream. Oh, if you want to join me in VR chat one time, you can do that. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I do play <laughs> VR chat. You, you've you been going on roller coasters on that? Yeah. Ooh. And I've been scaring myself witless. Yeah, it, that's what I like to hear. It's like, it's like when you do it in VR, it's just interesting how your brain just still... Your brain just thinks you are on a roller coaster, despite the fact you aren't. Oh, that's really what? exciting for me. I'll have to give it a shot sometime. No, I, I've been on a lot of 
roller coasters, not so much like lately over the past, I don't know, five or so years. That's because, you know, amusement parks cost money and you have to go travel to them. Eh. I live in Utah. Even though they make a lot of the big, famous roller coasters literally in my town here, we don't have roller coasters to ride. It's sad. It's sad. Oh, we're going to get to the good part. Oh, look, we have Goku. There's a mini boss. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that is one of the fun speed stress that you can actually despawn Goku. <laughs> despawn Goku. Yeah, all you have to do is just try to keep all the birds on screen as you run. And he'll just despawn, and you don't have to fight him. Uh-huh. But yeah, but, I, I'm i a big like, fan of roller coasters. Oh, go ahead. Yeah, I... If you want, I've actually done roller coasters. It's just that I will scream like a little girl. Oh, same. I I don't go on roller coasters and be the cool kid. Okay, I don't care about being cool when I'm on a roller coaster. I I care about getting scared and yelling my lungs out. I'm really hoping. I really. Wondering, I need Off and Nico to just try to get through this boss. Just take a little bit more thought and not try to rush it, because I think that's just what is happening. Oh no, do wolf! Ha! It takes it takes so long to get through that, because you just try to learn how to do those moving platforms. I think Author Blues is gonna get it this time. Or next time, like with the number of lives that he has, it, it it should be reasonable. It just takes practice. Yep. And I think I think Auth is getting it down. You know, I I would probably be somebody who like tries to take one or two small notes about the pattern of the boss, or at least pay really close attention to where the cigarettes go. Not the trash. They're definitely not go. Well, I mean, unless you count the ocean as trash. Fucking <laughs> bro. There's a lot of trash in the ocean. Yeah, Oth is getting a little greedy now. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Simply put, way too many of the enemies in this game, the bosses have too much health. I'm feeling sorry for Sharfers right now. They're still on level one. Come on, we believe in you, Sharfers. <laughs> this is the, this is the run. You can do it. We do. Run this like you run Barbie. I mean, considering you move about as fast as Barbie in this game, that would, that would be possible. Yeah, the thing about Sharfers, I, I know that he historically has sometimes struggled a little bit in Cusa Grande, but he is a really good speedrunner, you know, put a lot of work into uh, what he runs for, oh, for yeah. various sure. shows. Dragon, uh, Dragon Slayer of the Legend, that Game Boy game, he has put a ton of work into that. Yep. So basically, being a speedrunner does not necessarily mean that you are good at racing games blind. Being a good blind runner doesn't mean that you are going to be the top tier speedrunner. It's, it's weird that they take very different skills, but they do. Yeah, I'm a terrible speedrunner. That's just a fact. Eh, depends on the game. <laughs> Tag and Dragon, that's the game I can speedrun. <laughs> Give me Tag and Dragon any day, I'll speedrun that for oh, you. You just reminded me because I'm running Rags to Riches next Friday for a marathon. A small oh, online really? marathon. Yeah, I finally tricked somebody to accept it. 
uh, I got somebody to ex- um, accept Tag and Dragon, and it blew up in my face because I totally bombed that game. Oh, really? I love it. Yeah. Now, one thing that I want everybody watching to know with this game, there is no timer. And that is something that you really should think about. If there's a timer, yeah, you might have to rush through the levels. If there's not, then really all you're racing against is yourself. Uh, So don't worry about going too fast. Uh, Just worry about getting consistent. Yeah, I mean, at least the boss... Boss, the boss music makes you feel like it's, you know, there's a time limit, though. Oh, yeah, it's kind of stressful music. Oh, Author Blues is through the boss, moving on to the roller coaster of fun. Oh, and um, Nico's also getting to the roller coaster Heck of fun. yeah, three people on to level three. Sharfer's enjoying level one right now, you know. <laughs> The marshmallows. Sharper, he will beat this level. I, 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 sure. I have faith. Ah! <laughs> oh no, author plays. You, you can't get back on that platform, off. I'm sorry to say. actually one of the more enjoyable uh, music tracks i have to say but i mean it's okay it sounds like one of those crappy songs that they play at graduation you know you're like ugh. actually it does sound like it now that you say that yeah uh we're in the 21st century you can play some sticks for all i care (laughs) okay Hey, at my, it was either my graduation or Carrie's graduation. Uh, that was the first time that I heard Mr. Roboto, okay? And it was the best song in existence. It was so good. Domo arigato, Mr. Roboto. Domo. I was, I was waiting for you to do the low domo, but you didn't. Oh, you domo. didn't do it. Yeah, Sorry. there you go. It's like, I, I, I have not heard this song all the way through, and I feel bad for not having done so. Wow, um, Nico Jazz is just killing this level. I'm also going to say that I feel like Mr. Obato is still culturally fine. Uh, and here's why. It's part of a rock opera, okay? The whole part about that is that he's a robot, okay? And he's revealing who he is. He's Kilroy. I don't really know much of the plot of the rock opera, (laughs) but it's definitely about robots. Nico Jazz is up against the boss. Oh my goodness gracious, Nico Jazz has just taken the lead. Oh, he's not a role. Well, then why is his brain IBM? I'm so confused. I don't know. Apparently, he's not a robot. Oh my goodness, Nico Jazz has just taken the lead. So that now is really shocking. Holy cow. Yeah, Nico Jazz just destroyed it. And that is impressive. Although they're figuring out what they need to do. And this is where this level just really becomes the true evil. Because there's a bunch of platforming and you just need to figure out how you're supposed to stand on these. And they're doing, they're being smart. They're doing pause buffering. Uh, what? What'd you do? Uh, uh, okay. All right, Nico, you glitched and you're, you're gonna have to live with that. So these fairies are evil, right? 
Yeah, they deal damage. Okay. Kill the evil fairies. Yeah. But but Nico has learned that if you have to go transition to a new screen, you need to pause it to see what the heck is coming up next. Mm-hmm. And generally, no joke, you just have to stand there. Oh, jeez. No! Oh, no! Falling on the fairy! That is death. Yeah, I don't like these fairies. They're bad. Yeah, this is... This is where the game starts to get really mean. Because while the platforming has been... Oh! Keep going! Keep going! Keep going! Come on! Keep going, Doe Wolf! Keep going! Yes! Yes! Doe oh, Wolf no! That's no, okay. One it, death is fine. That, yeah, it's fine because they the um they are now at the boss, so they can just say stay and go up against the boss. Yep, yep, yep. With two lives, I I feel like this boss is going to go oh. down relatively quickly. Basically, this the boss, same as the first boss. Yeah, it's basically the same as the first boss. Okay, jump. Get ready to jump off. <laughs> I knew they weren't gonna jump off! Wow! Nico Jazz is still in the lead. Remember, we judge <laughs> progress based off of the high watermark and not uh, who makes it the furthest at the exact one hour mark. You know. So, honestly, it still is really close between Nico Jazz and Doe Wolf, and Author Blues could really catch up pretty quickly. Sharfus is starting to starting to get to the point where we might not see too much progress, or see me talking with him much longer. Oh yeah, friendships ruined by Cusa Grande. <laughs> but yeah, this next area you just need to take it slow because there's going to be a bunch of enemies that take a bunch of hits. And you can destroy everybody if you take it slowly. Don't destroy everybody. I'm just keeping an eye out because I'm just this part stresses me out a little bit. I love the flying it, cavemen though, they're pretty cool. Yeah. Oh, Shaffer's ah! got the combo! The coconut combo! Come on, Sharpers. You can do it! I've got faith! You can get there. I know you can. It's like, he has to have so much frustration going on right now. I think everybody has a lot of frustration. I mean, look at what they're playing. A dinosaur Dually. It's a Korean bootleg. And yeah, you yeah. haven't seen evidence that it's a bootleg yet, but don't worry, it it's coming. You'll see it. Well, now we, we've we've had our evidence. We saw Goku in the in one level. Whatever, Goku is like public domain or something. <laughs> yeah, we want we want people to get to the fifth level. So that we can all laugh and smile. Hey, Del Wolf got the jump. Okay. It's like, I just like praying for Sharfers to just get there. You can do it. Double game over on the top two screens. Oh, Author Blues is still currently in third, which is good enough to stay in the tournament. Still. You, you really don't want to be sitting there because after that he has to take first place I believe in both round th three and four in order to move on to the bracket so stay out oh, of stay out of third you know get up to come, second or first come on Sharfers you're almost there you're almost at the boss we have faith in you don't Sharfers. let the clapping monkey distract you don't let the bird distract you or kill you it might kill him. Sharfers! Oh my gosh! That was so close. Oh, geez, that was so stinking close. Now I... it's just platforming from here on out. Come on, Sharfers. 
Just get to the boss. Don't let the coconuts touch you. Okay, you're at the boss. That's okay, okay. you have extra lives. You have two lives, you can do this. Just memorize patterns. No, well, don't give the boss a hug! Don't give the boss a hug! Yeah, generally bad... Bad deal, don't let the boss kill you. Okay, Please kill the boss! Shoot everybody shoot their energy! No! no! Don't jump into the... Stop hugging the boss! NPC, your yelling's not helping! I don't care! Well, I mean, it's kind of helping. Oh, uh, Nico Jazz is going up against the boss and fell into the pit. Well... Okay. That's not how I find mini-boss, but, you know, I'm particular. <laughs> you know, it sometimes happens. That's just, that's just life, you know? Sometimes you go see your boss and then you fall down. I mean, it happens to me all the time in the office. What can I say? I am kind of sad they don't get to do the impossible jump. The impossible jump is what makes this game special. What's the impossible jump? Um, in the, um, the, uh, moat level, the boat level where you're having to be on a platform for all of it, and there's, like, uh, where you go diagonally down okay. into a cave, and there's this, like, super finicky jump that if you don't do right, you will die. And, Ooh, okay. And no joke, I have done it perfectly every time I've done it for a marathon, and I will never understand why. Because every other time I struggle with it, and that, that time is the only time I just kick butt. Doe Wolf is doing his best to not die from the flying cavemen, which is good. You know, you don't want death by cavemen. How do you want death by? I don't know. Like, death by... Ooh, death by cake. Chocolate cake. Death by chocolate. That would be good, too. Death by... Uh... Ooh, ooh, ooh. How about death by something in my sleep? I like that. <laughs> Justin, it's like, you've mentioned Conan too much. Sharfers, that's okay, that's okay. The boss fight isn't too uh, difficult. Honestly, just trying to deal as much damage as you can quickly is a good strategy. Oh my gosh. It's like, it's stressing me out so much. Come mash, on, mash! Oh, run away! Nope. No! <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Still, we've got, we've got enough attempts here that this could be doable. Sharfers, why aren't you shooting? Why aren't you playing? <laughs> I think, I think Sharpers... Oh, Barbie. There we go. There's the secret Barbie. It's like I've been so concentrated on Sharpers. I haven't My actually concentrated on um, who's ahead, Doe Wolf or Nico Jazz. I mean, Nico Jazz made it to the boss. I don't think Doe Wolf has. The mini boss, not oh the actual gosh. boss. Oh. Sharfers, shoot! Why? Are you? you need to kill the boss. This is boss. This is you gotta kill him. Remember, nothing shows that it's taking damage in this game because it's a bootleg. Oh! Don't Wolf managed to get a little bit more to the right, though. Sharfers, please, por favor. Just... Uh, author Clues has something to say. Uh-oh. <laughs> what a video game. There we go. Sharfers takes yes! the boss down and yes! moves up to level two. Every everybody clap for Sharfers. There, I did. That was five claps. <laughs> oh. 
honestly, I think that this ocean level will be easier after learning all of the basic mechanics from the previous level. Like, yeah. It's not a good level, but I thought that this was a little bit easier than the first one that you had him start on. Yeah, I mean, it's easier, it's just the boss is more butts. Oh yeah, the boss is dumb. The level itself, fine. Okay, Author Blues, I need you to get off of the roller coaster, okay? Mr. Bones is asking for his ride back. Uh, yeah, I believe the robot that they keep avoiding is like six hits. So it takes a bit of. Oh, uh, don't try and. Nico yeah, Jazz! Nico I love Jazz. It. Nico Jazz actually needs to fight the boss, or the mini boss, because you cannot plow through him. I have tried. <laughs> you just stay at the very left of the screen and just try and take him down. And the sad thing is, that's not even the final boss, and they are just, they are really not wanting to fight him. And all I have to no! say is tough. Author Blues gets killed by Goku. Which, I mean, uh, Goku is a pretty deadly fella. Ooh, Sharfers, killing the octopus, getting an extra life, not... Like, Sharfers is actually getting fairly close to the boss here. Well. It's, it's sad because I finally figured out what I should have said at that time, but now it's totally wasted because I've wasted too much time. What were you going to say? I don't care if it's wasted. Waste it! Now, I was about, you're talking about Koku, and, it's, and you're saying how he's so difficult, and it's like, well, that's not Super Saiyan much. Wow. Okay. <laughs> it's, I shouldn't have asked. <laughs> oh, yes. Give me all those ellipses. They just feed me. They feed you the You live off of dots? I live off of other people's groaning. As long as it's not like the candy dots. Those are kind of gross. Oh, I can agree on that. Okay, I'm getting a little buffering. Let me go ahead and just reload everybody's stream to make sure they are all equally caught up. Never. No, I can never guarantee that I will not stop saying bad jokes. It is in my bloodline to just keep saying bad jokes. People like dots? Like, maybe it's only some of the dots I disliked. Oh. I f because anything that's kind of chewy, like fruit gummies, I, I feel like I should like. Oh my gosh. They keep okay. trying to plow through it. Just go back left. That's what you have to do. I hate Dooley, though. The stupid dinosaur nerd. Well, that is Dooley noted. <laughs> yeah, Dooley is duty. That's what I'm going to say. Jump back left. Yes! Yes! They finally figured out what you're supposed to freaking do. Now just keep doing it. But you can jump over them, so do that too. Hey, mini boss is down. Nico Jazz, just don't fall on the spikes, and you'll be making progress here. Yeah. Yeah, they're gonna die at this boss. Well, yeah, that didn't take long. Well, the thing is that um, this boss is pseudo easy, but once they attack. Um, they become, uh, invincible, so you just have to keep plowing at them. How did they not get hit there? Wow. I would be so happy about that. But yeah, this boss is super easy. Just keep attacking, and I have a feeling Nico's gonna get Yeah, this it. pirate is crappy. Seriously, what kind of pirate just throws your bullets all over the place like this? Oh, no! Okay, we're gonna get it! We're gonna finally get to see this! Yes! Okay. Okay, get to level five. Let's see what this game is made of. This game is made of boots. And legs. Oh no, Mario! 
There you go. I think Nico is a little bit shocked. <laughs> oh. oh, that's worth it. That's worth it. <laughs> <laughs> Nico saying in Discord, why is he here? <laughs> Isn't it obvious? <laughs> I love it. Uh, this game, this game is made of crap, but holy crap, some of the crap is good. <laughs> I'm turning it out, Kirby. Yeah. Well, everybody, we have less than 10 minutes left. Nico Jazz is in the lead. Doe Wolf has a chance to possibly catch up, but honestly, things are not looking great. Nico Jazz is probably going to be taking the victory. Uh, Doe Wolf is in second, Author Blues third, Sharfer's in fourth. I love that every player is on a different level at this point. Really, uh, there are some games that basically have a wall that you run into, but this game is just wall after wall after wall. Sharf yeah, there is. this game just has an infinite amount of walls in it. Like, Sharfers is on to the boss, but we're not going to see this boss get beaten during this set of lives. I can pretty much guarantee. You gotta learn the pattern. And don't get greedy. That's the thing. Learn the pattern, don't get greedy. Greedy. Yep. Everybody tries to get greedy with the stupid... Squid, whatever it is. I don't even know what it is. NPC. I'm not sure I'm just I gonna care. Squid. squid. Squid is the kid. It's a squid. If it was a kid, it wouldn't be alive. It's underwater. So I'm glad that we settled that question. Yeah. It's a squid. Yeah, also, smoking just... all the squid rats. <laughs> Oh, I love it. I love it. A new seaweed flavor cigarette. Gross. Well, I didn't say you were going to enjoy it. All the sea creatures will, though. Well, good for them. I'm a sea creature. I smoke seaweed. <laughs> realize how bad that was until you said it. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I realized either. It's okay. <laughs> we're, we're fine. We're all adults here. How old? Wait, how old are you? I am 39. Wait, you are? Yes. What the crap? I'm 34. You're five years older. I thought you were a little yeah. baby. No. I what? turned 40 in like four months. Or four or five months. Oh, NPC, that's so cute. Oh, it looks like. Oh no! Oh no! Doe figured out what they needed to do. Oh, Doe Wolf. Too little too late. You, they're still. I don't know. I don't know. This game really doesn't take too long once you can get through stuff. But yeah, Mario is really a wall for Nico Jazz. Mario is eternally a wall. I mean, he can jump. He's got the jumps. I be somebody got here because we needed to see Mario. And I took a chance by making it the fifth level, but I figured that with the order they had that it was going to be possible. My gosh, Nico Jazz is just trying to time a landing on Marshy. Not. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, I was stressed. Less stressed. Oh, I can breathe. I can breathe. Oh uh, no, the turtle! Oh, turtle, don't you bop dooley. Yeah, turtle. Did Nico is... Jazz just get the game to. What happened? Uh. Oh, that was probably a pause. That was a pause because Nico Jazz is eternally confused by this boss. Like, yeah, this is... <laughs> the Death Turtle! 
Oh. One, of the, one of the funny things is that if you start off attacking him at the very get-go, you can kill him without him actually firing at you. Oh, really? Uh, to my knowledge, yeah. Good job, Mr. Dooley Speedrunner. <laughs> I've taken my time. I have... I have, um... Taken all the pain. No, but yeah, no wolf. No, that's not how you do it. You know, I. Chad is asking why the turtle is on balloons, and let me answer you. Turtles are actually heavier than air, and so in order to float, they need some assistance. You know, they can float on water, that's okay. Humans can too, especially especially if you have a lot of body fat. You can float pretty well. Speaking from experience, you know. <laughs> oh, Author Blues is just trying to get Goku to jump when he wants. Interesting. But can now it's gonna be, uh, but... yeah. So yeah. close to the boss though, so close. It's technically a strategy because that was actually my first strategy was to just damage boost and let him just run to the right. And then if you just keep running, he'll despawn when you load in the boss of the area. And then I learned about actually having a sprite limit. And um, yeah, that's my eternal technique now. I love... Like, honestly, I kind of enjoy some of the music in this. Like, a lot of it sounds like Color Dreams, which makes a little bit of sense since this company did collaborations with Color Dreams. Oh, poor Nico. Got touched by the orbiting ball of doom. Uh, not the ball of doom. I hate that. Okay, here we go. The final minute. I do not see any places changing. Nico Jazz just giving us a little wink. Actually, that was Dooley. That's not Nico Jazz you see on the screen. That's Dooley the dinosaur. Da Wolf! Oh! The contact damage is just too much. Okay, I have no clue what Dolph is typing. Yeah, now. he's typing in Japanese. And I'm not sure why. He also said Airman in that. I'm not sure. <laughs> Yay, Nico Jazz has fun. <laughs> and and Sharif, Sharp is given his opinion. I think a lot of people have a lot of opinions about this game. Okay, gotta be real not, here. Not my fault. Yeah, Actually, it, is, my it fault. is your fault. It's <laughs> literally your fault. You chose this game. Well, everybody, uh, even though NPC has possibly ruined some lives today, that's okay because it's time. Yeah, that's right. We're done with this game. No more dually, no more dinosaurs. Now, just happiness. Oh, it's the lyrics to I Can't Defeat Airman. Gotcha. Well, how do you think they did, NPC? Um, well, Nico Jazz did very, very well. Um, Sharfers, um, I just want to give a hug right now because they struggled for the first level for so long. And just looking at off uh, screen, they finally got to level four and basically getting to the space section is pretty impressive in my opinion. Oh yeah. Honestly, everybody had a really good push. It's just a very difficult game. Uh, still, yeah, this he game finished is, that right at the yeah. end. This game is, you know, very punishing. So it's generally I never give out easy games to begin with. Yeah, you're oh. mean. Hello, Nico Jazz. Oh, are you there? Yeah, yeah. Can you hear me? I can. I can hear you. Great. Great. Well, yeah. So. An experience. Yeah. What do you think of the game? Well, it's okay. I guess. It's okay. <laughs> I guess. Yeah. That. That's a. Well. 
there's only one thing that personally angers me a lot in video games. Yeah. I can tolerate almost anything except slowdowns. Every oh. time you scroll the screen, there's slowdown. Oh. Uh, Every single time. Yeah, do uh, so lag throws you off quite a bit. Yeah. Yeah, if you play at the seventh level, it is eternal lag, and it's so terrible. Yeah. It's. But at least, at least you got to see um, Korean Mario. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I I love it. Like, honestly, this game almost looks like it's legit mostly original until first Goku and then Mario. You know, as soon as Mario pops oh. up, it's like, this isn't a game anymore. <laughs> uh, so, well, yeah, you did very well. Proved Dragon Ball and Mario in the same universe. I mean, technically, they're in our universe, so it's true they're in the same universe. You see, that's how you do the workaround. You just say they're in our universe. We're, we're, yeah, yeah. And what a universe it is. We need to name our universe. We don't even have a name for our universe. Can you imagine? <laughs> Anyways, Extreme Zero, congr oh no, that's not who you are. What am I thinking, <laughs> Nico Jazz? I was looking Whoa. at stuff from the next match. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Nico Jazz, congratulations. You did fantastic. Thanks. Honestly, you made more progress than we expected, so that was pretty dang fun. Yeah, uh, are you streaming anything over at your channel these days? No, I'm not really a streamer. Mostly just for like this. Aha! Well, that is pretty cool. I'm glad that you joined. You know, you have a pretty good trajectory. Hopefully, you're able to make it over to. Uh, over to the bracket. Honestly, with the second and a first, you've got a really good shot. Well, yeah. Have to see how lucky I get with the game. Yeah. I don't know. It's all the role of the whoever the GM is going to be for you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Nico Star. Thank you, NPC. Both of you have a fantastic afternoon. I'll, I'll see you later. Thank see you. you. Uh, all right. Bye. Everybody, we've got one more match for today, but before moving on over there, I'm going to go ahead and hit a brief ad so I can start setting up. Stay tuned. See you in one minute. Cowboy music. Everybody... Raise your hand if you want to be a cowboy. Oh, baby, we've got, we've got some cowboys in here. You you can be a cowgirl either. Like you can be a cow, whatever. Can't be a cow though. Not allowed. Or Dama Ford, you want to be a fire truck? It's not a cow really. Cow cowboy western really. Well, we do have fire engines over here, I suppose. Not very cowboy related, vaguely. <laughs> People want to be a cat? Oh, cool. Everybody, welcome on back to Kiss Grande. We are going to be hopping into the next match really soon. And how did I mess everything up? Did I mess everything up? I didn't. I messed nothing up. It's the opposite of everything. Oh, I want to thank everybody who has subscribed, who has uh, dropped some bits. You're helping keep this stream full time. I very much appreciate it. Uh, if you wish, feel free to feel free to drop a gift sub. If you are unable to do so, feel free to follow or, you know, tell your friends about bad video games. As long as we have a good community, that is what I'm most happy about. Yeah. 